Hi, Paul for Alltech LLC with a new video on the PBM 22C. What I'll be demonstrating today is the reload procedure for this mine. But first, I have an announcement. For anybody who'd like to purchase these mines, our web store is now open at alltechllc.com and we have a special price up for our first 50 customers. I'll also be posting some on eBay. And if you'd like to subscribe to our video, there's a few other demonstration videos that I'm going to be making on this mine and we'll also be posting videos on any new products or accessories that I come up with. So, to the mine. Now, this video I'm making today isn't a substitute for the manual, but if anybody has any questions, it's a, a quick reference. So, first I'd like to go over the parts of the mine. This is the face with the 22 barrels, the bottom, your fold-out legs, combustion chamber plug, top of the mine, safety pin, breech block safety pin, breech block, hammer, hammer channel, and the back of the mine. So first, we remove the safety pin. Next, we remove the breech block safety pin. Then remove the breech block. Now we can reset the hammer. Using this tool, what we do is we lift up on this hammer just slightly, get the tool underneath, and then rotate the hammer over past the point where the safety pin can be reinserted. Now we can remove the combustion chamber plug. Using this tool, unscrew the plug, then using this rod go up through the center of the mine, seating the tool into the bottom of the cartridge. When it's that deep, it's in the base of the cartridge. Then you can knock out the old cartridge. Remove the tool, replace the plug. Now this plug does not have to be tight. All you want to do is bring it to its seat and then a slight little tighten like that. It does not have to be tight. Okay. Now on to loading the barrels. Now, to save some time, I preloaded 18 of these barrels, so I'll only be doing this four as uh, just a reference. So what we got to do is, I have this little container, old medicine bottle, that I have old paintball juice in. What you want to do is you want to dip your finger in the paintball juice and then lube the inside of each barrel. Now, this isn't necessarily for firing the paintballs. What this does is it makes it easier to load them because you are shoving them down inside the barrel. And there's a little restrictor down inside each barrel that serves two purposes. One, it keeps the spring weight of the reed valve from forcing the paintball up the barrel and closing. Two, it holds the paintball back for just a bit while pressure builds inside the mine and gives it a little bit more of a potent firing. So after you've done that with all 22 barrels, wipe your finger off, get the balls, the balls just seat. Now using this tool again, you shove the paintballs down inside the barrels. Now as they go down, that is the point where it's hitting the restrictor. So that's not all the way down. What you have to do is you have to push and it'll pop past the restrictor. That's all the way seated. That's hitting the restrictor. That's all the way seated. Okay. It's not hard to push them back. This does take a little bit of practice. You gotta be a little gentle so you don't smash the paintballs when you get down there, but then you can wipe the surface. Okay, now at this point, the mine is inert. So you could carry it around like this. If you wanted to carry it into the field like this, you could replace these, carry it out in the field. When you go to set it up, you retake these out and put your new cartridge in. But being that I'm putting the cartridge in now, and once the cartridge is in, it's considered a live mine. So 
what I'll do is now I'll put on my face mask. Get a cartridge. Slip the cartridge in the combustion chamber. Replace the breech block. Breech block safety pin. Okay, now we're gonna need this tool again. You should always carry this one around with you. Shove the mine into the ground. Okay, now to set the trip pin, you use this tool, you put it on the hammer again, push it down, and then you slip the trip pin in. And all you have to do is remove the safety pin, and we're ready to fire. So we'll fire in three, two, one. So I tell you that never gets old. When you hear that go off, I don't know how the camera does it justice, but you will when that goes off on the paintball battlefield, you'll know exactly what went on. So just as a reminder, our uh, store is open at alltechllc.com. We will be posting some on eBay and uh, again, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, I have a couple other setup demonstrations that I'm going to be doing, and we'll also be advertising any new products. So uh, play it safe, and have a nice day.